What is up guys, my name is Ignis, welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing our journey in the gold industry. So for today's comparison I have picked 3 more gold names. The first one is Agnico Eagle, ticker symbol AEM. This year the stock has been moving lower, now down for 19.19%. The one year's performance is even worse, minus 34.69%. But in the last 5 years they have been doing a bit better, going from $4 to $4.80 in 2017, down 6.65% to $4 to $1.84. This is still quite a large gold producing name with a market cap of $19.13 billion dollars and the stock is now trading at a dividend yield of 3.83%. So this will be the first name for today's dividend comparison, but I do have two more to go with it. So second is Wheaton Precious Metals, ticker symbol WPM. On the year today the stock lost 21.66% of its value, still just a bit worse in one year, minus 29.22%, but surprisingly 5 year performance looks really decent, with the stock moving from $19.50 in 2017 to $32.70 now, up for 67.54%. Company's market cap is now at $14.84 billion and their dividend yield percentage is now at 1.83. Now for the third name I picked a way smaller company, Royal Gold, ticker symbol or GLD. On the year to date it didn't move that much, minus 1.59%. One year's performance is worse at minus 15.75%. But similar to Vitan it is up in the last 5 years going from $85.27 in 2017, up 19.53% to $102.04. Market cap is way smaller though at $6.64 billion, and they are trading at a dividend yield of 1.37%. So we picked the three names from the gold industry that paid dividends, and now we'll check how their fundamentals compare to each other. For that let's go to my table in Google Sheets. I already have the tickers for the companies in, and in order to make this dividend comparison possible, we will be taking a look into 5 different factors. Dividend yield, dividend payout ratio, years of consecutive dividend increases, 3 year compound annual dividend growth rate, and the dividend yield compared to its 5 year average. We'll check into the metrics for each stock and add the results into this table. Then the best stock with each metric will get a point, and in the end the name with the most points will be considered the winner of this comparison. I think that it will be easy to follow, so let's start. So the first metric is the dividend yield. It is calculated by taking the annual dividend per share and dividing it by the share price. Agnico is currently paying an annual dividend of $1.60 per share, so at a price of $41.74, the stock is trading at a dividend yield of 3.84%. Now if we look into Viton, they are paying $0.60 cents per share, so at the price of $32.63, this is a dividend yield of 1.84%. Now lastly Royal Gold, their dividend is $1.40, so with a stock price of $102.45, this is a dividend yield of 1.36%. Second metric is the dividend payout ratio. The percentage here shows what part of company's earnings are being paid back to investors as dividends. So for Agnico, the payout ratio is at 71.25%. This means that almost three-thirds of company's earnings are being given back to shareholders as dividends. Now in Viton's case, the payout ratio is at 43.91%. So the situation here is a bit better, because less than half of earnings are being used for the dividends. And in Royal Gold's case it is even better, where they stand with a payout ratio of 34.11%, meaning that the dividend here is just one third of earnings. Now metric number 3 is the years of consecutive dividend increases. So for how many years the company has increased dividends for at least one quarter every year. In Agnico Eagle's case their dividend increase history is just one year. Now if we check Wheaton the situation is a bit better, because they have been increasing dividends at least for two years in a row. But with this metric Royal Gold is in a different league, as they have been increasing dividends consistently for the last 21 years. Metric number 4 is the compound annual dividend growth rate. We will take the 3 years number including the next year's estimate. So in Agnico Eagle's case the 3 year dividend growth rate is at 18.98%. Switching to Viton that is a bit worse, as their dividend growth rate is at 12.62%, 
but this metric is the worst for Royal Gold, where they have it at only 7.09%. Now the last metric I want to take a look into is the dividend yield compared to its 5 year average. And for that we'll be using my dividend investing watch list on Google Sheets. So we are now in the tab for Agrinco Eagle, and here is its dividend yield history for each quarter of the last 5 years. Out of this information we can calculate that on average in 5 years the dividend yield was at 1.54%. So the worst dividend yield was back in 2019, where it was trading at 0.63%, under the 5 year average for 59.01%, but it did cross the 5 year average in 2021, where it was trading at 1.96%, over the 5 year average for 27.51%. But if we take the stock right now at a dividend yield of 3.84%, that is now way over the 5 year average for 149.81%. So this is here the calculation and the number that we will be comparing. Now switching to Viton, we have its dividend yield history of the last 5 years, and on average the stock was trading at 1.43%. So the best yield was back in 2018, at 2.23%, over the 5 year average for 56%, and the worst one was back in 2020, where the stock was trading at 0.73%, under average for 48.93%. But if we do take the stock right now at a dividend yield of 1.84%, it is over the 5 year average for 28.71%. Now last is Royal Gold, we have the dividend yield history in, and on average the stock was trading at a yield of 1.10%. So worst one was in 2019, where the stock was trading at 0.86%, under average for 21.51%, but it did start going over average by the end of 2021, with 1.25%, over average for 14.08%. But if we would get into the stock right now at a dividend yield of 1.36%, that is over the 5 year average for 24.12%. Now if you would be interested in doing a similar analysis for yourself with a dividend paying company, you are able to access this watchlist by following the first link at the top of the description. Otherwise feel free to leave a ticker in the comment below, and I'll consider adding it myself into the watchlist here. Maybe you could share some interesting opportunities in the market that I'm still missing. So we went through all the metrics for these three names, and now the numbers are in our table. We can then start assigning points. First point goes to Agnico Eagle with the highest dividend yield of 3.84%. Then for the second metric a point to Royal Gold with the lowest dividend payout ratio of 34.11%. Another point to Royal Gold for 21 years of consecutive dividend increases. Then the 3 year compound annual dividend growth rate goes to Agnico Eagle with 18.98%. And the last metric to Agnico Eagle where the stock is now trading at a dividend yield 150% over the 5 year average. So the points are in and we can calculate the results. Agnico Eagle has 3 best metrics, Wheaton Precious Metals 0 and Royal Gold 2. This means that with a sum of 3 points, Agnico Eagle is considered the winner of this dividend comparison. So that was it, make sure to support the channel and leave a thumbs up under the video. What do you think, should we be starting a position in a gold stock right now? Share your stance on it in a comment below. If you would be interested in getting access to my Google Sheets documents, then consider memberships. By becoming a member you will get access to Discord, where I share all my Google Sheets documents and all the buys and sells exactly when I do them. This could be a great option to track my moves closely. Last week I've looked into several other companies, so if you would be interested in any of these, then click on a video that is currently on the screen. And that was it from my side, thank you for watching and I will be seeing you all in the next one.